हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इन प्रीवियस पार्ट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट व्हाट इज द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इथेनॉल एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल डिस्कस ऑन सम अदर केमिकल कंपाउंड ऑफ कार्बन दैट इज इथेनॉइक एसिड इथेनॉइक एसिड एंड व्हाट आर द फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इथेनॉइक एसिड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इथेनॉइक एसिड इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड इट इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड एसिटिक एसिड एसिटिक एसिड व्हिच इज ए ग्रुप ऑफ कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इट मींस इथेनॉइक एसिड इज द ग्रुप ऑफ एसिड व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड फाइव टू एट परसेंट ऑफ फाइव टू एट परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ इथोनाइक एसिड इन वॉटर दैट इज कॉल्ड विनेगर फाइव टू एट परसेंट सोल्यूशन ऑफ इथेनाइक एसिड इथेनाइक एसिड इन वॉटर इज कॉल्ड विनेगर एंड दिस विनेगर इज यूज टू प्रिजर्व द पिकल्स एंड जेम्स द विनेगर इज यूज टू प्रिजर्व द पिकल्स and gems first of all ethionic acid it is commonly called acetic acid this acetic acid is belongs to the group of carboxylic acid and 5 to 8% solution of ethionic acid in water that compound that solution is called vinegar and vinegar is used to preserve the pickles and gems the melting point of ethionic acid is 290 kelvin or its boiling point its boiling point is 391 kelvin ethanoic acid has melting point 290 kelvin it means during the winter season or cold climate the ethanoic acid freezes down and this freezed ethanoic acid is known as glacial acetic acid in winter or cold climate pure ethionic acid pure ethionic acid we also can say that acetic acid freeze or freezes this freezed acetic acid is called freezed acetic acid or freezed ethonic acid is called glacial acetic acid what do you mean by glacial acetic acid pure ethanol has a very low melting point that is 290 kelvin so in cold season or winter this pure ethonic acid freezes down and this freezed it acetic acid or ethonic acid is known as glacial acetic acid clear these are the physical properties of ethonic acid and the next chemical properties of ethonic acid chemical properties of ethionic acid
वट आर द केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इथियोनाइट्रेट देर आर मेनी केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ इथियोनाइट्रेट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट इज कॉल्ड एस्ट्रीफिकेशन एस्ट्रीफिकेशन वट डू यू मीन बाई एस्ट्रीफिकेशन द प्रोसेस इन विच एस्टर इज प्रोड्यूस एक ऐसी प्रोसेस जिसमें एस्टर बनते हैं दैट प्रोसेस इज कॉल्ड एस्ट्रीफिकेशन द प्रोसेस इन विच एस्टर इज प्रोड्यूस एस्टर इज प्रोड्यूस दैट इज कॉल्ड एस्टिफिकेशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वट इज एस्टर एस्टर इज ए वेल और वी कैन से दैट ए स्वीट स्मेलिंग कंपाउंड एस्टर इज ए स्वीट स्मेलिंग कंपाउंड विच इज यूज विच इज यूज टू प्रीपेयर many perfume many perfumes as well as to provide different smell in soaps as well as to smell it is mixed with other smelling object or smelling substance or substances first of all how the ester esters are produced which chemical process which chemical compounds are used while preparing ester first of all we take a 1 ml of ethanol 1 ml of ethanol 1 ml of ethanol CH3 CH2 OH in a test tube in a test tube then mix 1 ml of ethonic acid CH3 COOH in the ethanol ethanol and ethionic acid both are the quantity will be uh, taken in same that is 1 ml now add some amount of sulfuric acid by adding sulfuric acid which one concentrated sulfuric acid in both of ethanol and ethionic acid and put up into a water bath because we can't directly hit the ethanol when we hit the ethanol directly the ethanol catch fire to prevent the fire we put it in water bath and slowly hit it is a prepared stand and wire guards is a stand it did it at a dim light for 5 to 7 minutes as the process evaporate start we can take a ripened fruit smell the smell of ripened fruit is show the presence of ester so this process is known as esterification because in this process ester is formed how the chemical reaction can take place while forming of ester ethanol ch3 ch2 oh when mixed with ethonic acid ch3 c double o h in presence of sulfuric acid h2so4 
इट प्रोड्यूस इज एस्टर सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ सी एच टू सी एच थ्री प्लस वॉटर मॉलिकूल्स प्लस वॉटर मॉलिकूल्स एंड दिस इज द केमिकल फॉर्मूला ऑफ एस्टर हाउ इज द एस्टर फॉर्म सी एस थ्री दिस वन इज सी एस थ्री सी ओ ओ सी ओ ओ दिस वन सी एस टू सी एस थ्री देन रिमेन्स ओ एच एंड दिस एच एच टू द एस्टर इज फॉर्म हाउ वी कैन शो द प्रेजेंस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ एस्टर वाइल वी टेक द स्मेल ऑफ राइप एंड फ्रूट the uh, smelling of ripened fruit show the presence of a formation of ester this is the chemical process or formation of ester we can write up this one also ch3 c double o o ch2 ch3 plus h2o if we erase this one we can write one more type of formula ch3 coo c2 h5 c1 and 1 2 h2 and 3 5 this is the chemical formula of ester this one is also the chemical formula of ester second when ester react with alkaline sodium hydroxide it produce ethanol and so so that process is called saponification this is the first chemical properties of esterification second the chemical property saponification what is saponification just like as esterification the process name is ester is produced that is called esterification saponification the process in which soap is produced the process in which soap is produced that is called saponification how is the soap formation take place while ester is the chemical formula of ester reacts with reacts with alkaline alkaline sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide the chemical formula of sodium hydroxide is naoh while ester react with alkaline sodium hydroxide it produces it produces alcohol and a salt of a salt of sodium or we can say that a salt of sodium that process is called saponification because this process is used while we prepare soap this process is used to prepare soap to prepare soap therefore this process is called this process is called saponification saponi fication how is the chemical process can take place how the chemical compounds react with each other while we prepare soap first of all we have to take ester ch3 coo ch2 ch3 this is the chemical formula of ester when it react in presence of sodium hydroxide it forms a A compound of a salt of sodium as well as alcohol. What is the chemical formula of alcohol? CH three, CH two, OH. This is the alcohol. 
एंड वन साल्ट ऑफ सोडियम अब इस सी एच थ्री सी एच टू एंड दिस ओ एच इज टेकन एक्स रिमेनिंग सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एन ए सी एच थ्री सी ओ ओ एन ए how does ethanol produce this one is ch3 ch3 then next one is ch2 this ch2 and oh taken from here it forms ethanol the next remaining ch3coo ch3coo and next one is na this is the chemical compound which is called sodium acetate this is sodium acetate as well as it is also known as sodium ethanoate ethanoate what would happen when ester react with in presence of alkaline potassium sodium hydroxide it produce alcohol and soap this is the formula of soap because we know that soap is the long chain of sodium and potassium compounds in this this is it contains sodium one more potassium nitrate is taken then it form potassium hydroxide sorry not potassium nitrate potassium hydroxide then it will form potassium acetate soap is the long chain of compound of sodium and potassium while preparing soap this process is used so it is called saponification the next chemical property of ethanoic acid is what would happen when ethanoic acid react with alkaline sodium hydroxide the third property reaction of ethanoic acid with sodium hydroxide sodium hydroxide this reaction in this reaction sodium hydroxide react with ester not ethanoic acid in this ethanoic acid react with sodium hydroxide as we have discussed in chapter 2 acid and base ethanoic is acidic in nature sodium hydroxide is a base then what would happen when an acid react with base salt and water produce and process becomes neutral so that is called neutralization reaction how the chemical reaction can take place ethanoic acid ch3 cooh when react with sodium hydroxide it produces salt of sodium that is called sodium ethanoate ch3 cooona ch3 cooona and reacts remaining plus h2o and this compound is known as sodium acetate as well as sodium ethanoate sodium acetate it is salt of sodium as well as it is called sodium ethanoate and the process become neutral why this process become neutral we know that when acid react with base this is the acid in nature but it is weak acid acid in nature acid react with base strong base alkaline it forms salt and water the process become neutral so it is called neutralization process and next chemical property is what would happen when ethanoic acid react with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate fourth what would happen or you can say that reaction of ethanoic acid with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate metal hydrogen <coughs> carbonate then what would happen 
we have already studied in chapter second acid and base acid react with metal carbonate or metal hydrogen carbonate it produce metal salt co2 and water we'll take the chemical process ethanoic acid ch3 cooh react with the sodium carbonate na2 co3 then it produce sodium ethoxide or sodium ethonate sorry ch3 coona and co2 plus water this is the salt of sodium it contains two then ch3 coo is a double na is also doubled this c single c here and o3 two one here one and h2 o h2 this is the chemical process balanced chemical process in this ethonize ethonic acid react with metal carbonate and one more when ethonic acid react with metal hydrogen carbonate sodium hydroxide then the same compound is also formed and ch3 coona plus co2 and this one is h2o this chemical reaction is already balanced these are the chemical properties in which which are produced by the ethionic acid in next part we will discuss on some chemical compounds of carbon just like as formation how is the soap formation can take place and detergent what are the uses of soap and detergent how soap and detergent used for washing clothes